Joined by Auburn head coach Gus Malzahn, quarterback Jarrett Stidham, and safety Trey Matthews. Uh, we'll add, ask Coach Malzahn to make an opening statement, and then we will take questions for everyone on the podium. Coach. Okay, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Georgia on their victory. They got a very good team. Uh, they flipped the script on us from the last game, did exactly what we did. The first game, obviously, it was a tough loss. Um, you know, we got off to a good start, and then we had some uncharacteristic things happen. You know, we've uh, played really good football the second half of the season. We had a blocked field goal. I think we had two turnovers right there that were really uh, tough. Um, you know, just overall, I'm very proud of our team to get here. Um, you know, obviously, we're hurting right now. Got a bunch of hurting coaches and uh, players um, in the locker room. But I will tell you, though, even though it's tough right now, the future is very bright. Um, I'm proud of our team getting us to this point, but congratulations to Georgia. They were better than us. Uh, they outplayed us and they outcoached us, and that starts with me. Okay, thank you, Coach. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Hannah and Kristen have the microphones. We'll get one to you. Questions for any of those on the podium? Okay, we go over right here to our right. Okay, this would be for uh, Trey. Obviously, this game was very close going into the second half, but did they do something differently on offense that uh, caused you guys to have problems in the second half? They they didn't really do too much anything different than they did the first time. Um, they just ran a little more on the perimeter. Um, and they just physically, you know, whipped us up front. And the stats show for it. They had a thing like 200 and some rushing yards, which they didn't have that the first time. And, you know, if, if your team rushes for 200 yards, you're going to win the game. So... That's what happened. Okay, we'll go down front here in the front row. Hey, Coach. Steve Moulton, WZZN out of Huntsville, Alabama. If you could comment on that first tur turnover of the game and how critical do you think that was? Well, I mean, any time you're playing a championship game, turnovers are, are critical, and not just that one, but the other one. And then, of course, the, the block field goal I thought was big, too, at the time. That was a very close game. And, you know, block field goal is like a turnover. And so, you know, we were fighting uphill and uh, because of those situations. Okay, other questions, raise your hand. Okay, we'll go up here in the front. Kevin. Kevin Skarbinski, Alabama Media Group. Gus, how healthy was Carry On, and, and how limited was he, and how careful were you in your use of him? Yeah, yeah. KJ, first of all, I can't say enough of how tough he is and, and the guts he has. I mean, he was banged up. He had, uh, you know, some rib issues. He had a shoulder issue, and... You know, we didn't really know if he was going to play. He really did a little bit of stuff during practice, uh, but it was very, very limited. Um, Pre-game, his adrenaline got going. He felt like he could go. He gave us all he had, and uh, you could see he wasn't 100%, but uh, he helped to get us here, and uh, he's a great player. Okay, we'll go over here to our right. Uh, to any of you guys, uh, with all the flags that were that were flying, particularly in second and third quarters here, did that disrupt the flow of the game for 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 both teams really? Yeah, I mean we're you know we we were the most disciplined team with a number of penalties in our league coming in the game. We had some uncharacteristic penalties uh, too, but like I said, you got to give those guys credit um, forcing some of them. Other questions? Raise your hand. Okay, we'll go back over here to the right. Uh, Gary McKillops from AP Radio again. This is for Jarrett. Uh, do you think that uh, the fact that you played this team, you know, just three weeks ago, did that have any effect on what happened today? I mean, is it hard to get up, you know, at, well, with Alabama thrown in a third straight time? Uh, no, sir. I mean, it's, uh, you know, this is exactly what, uh, you know, our goals were at the beginning of the year to play in the SEC championship. So, it wasn't hard to get up for this game at all. I mean, we were all really, really excited, um, players-wise, you know, coaching staff-wise. I mean, everybody was really excited for this game. Um, you know, it just it just didn't go our way tonight. Questions? All right, we'll go second row. Uh, Gus, uh, you mentioned that the the future's bright for Auburn. Uh, I realize the game's very fresh here, but do you intend to have the future your future at Auburn? Yeah, I'm happy here at Auburn. We got great players. I love my players. Um, like I said before this game, you know, we've worked extremely hard to get here to this point. Um, we've got a very good foundation built, um, and I think the best is yet to come. Okay, we'll go back down here, Kevin. Gus, so does that mean Arkansas should not bother asking you uh, about their I'm job? I'm the head coach at Auburn. I just said that. And you, you will know, be I, next I wanna year. Be, I want to be the head coach at Auburn. Yeah. And you will be next year. I want to be. Other questions? Okay, we'll go back down here in the front row. 
Gus, uh, in terms of game plan, did Georgia alter anything from three weeks ago, or was this execution? They, uh, they, they you know, they obviously, when we felt like they would really uh, work hard to stop the run, and they brought an extra guy down, they played a whole lot of single high, we felt like that would happen. And so, you know, we started out and tried to get the ball in the perimeter, throw some short passes to get us in pace uh, to run the football. We also tried some big set runs uh, because of the odd front, but they did a lot better job uh, with their run fits, and, and we figured they would. Uh, like I said, a lot of it was just we had trouble getting in a rhythm, you know, probably, um, you know, after, after the first quarter and a half. Okay, we'll go down to our right front row. Uh, hi, this is for Jarrett. Um, you completed your first eight passes tonight, but after that they seemed to come after you a different way. What kind of different looks were they throwing at you to kind of disrupt that rhythm that you had personally? No, I mean, they, uh, you know, they did a great job of, you know, bringing a lot of different looks, uh, switching up the coverages, blitzes, um, fronts, I mean, everything. I mean, they, they did a great job tonight of, of switching it up and, uh, you know, causing a little bit of havoc, but um, it is what it is. We just, uh, we just didn't execute when we should have. Okay, we'll stay on the same side. Second row. Mark Murphy from inside the Auburn Tigers. Carlton Davis and Trey Matthews didn't play the second half. Did they get hurt in the second quarter? What's that? Carlton Davis' yes. injury and yeah, Trey Matthews' injuries. Yeah. Or Trey Williams. Uh, Trey's here. Uh, yeah, tr neither one could finish. Um, they did have some injuries, um, and they couldn't finish. Other questions for coach and players? Uh, we'll go back up front here in the front row. Coach, as well as Jarrett and Trey, if you could comment on the run that you guys went on after the LSU game to get here. Yeah. I'll start out. Of course, like I said, um, very few teams um, could do what this this team did. Um, it was a very tough moment in LSU. We had to, we had to rally. We had to circle the wagons. Um, these two, along with their teammates, got it done. I'm not for sure very many teams could have done that. We had a huge emotional win you know, against Georgia the first time, against Alabama the second time, to get us here. And today we didn't get it done, but it's unbelievable what they did to get us here. Trey, would you like to comment on that? Coach Mazan basically said everything that needed to be, needed to be said. Um, you know, we went on a great run. We had a lot of leadership from my quarterback right here and myself as well as a lot of my teammates. And, um, you know, we, our backs were against the wall and we had to do what we had to do. But, you know, of course, we didn't, we didn't finish it out here. And... Like Coach said earlier, it'll be a lot to look forward to in the future. And Jared? Yeah, I think it's something to be really proud of, uh, you know, regardless of, you know, the outcome of tonight. You know, going, you know, losing to LSU that way and then coming back and winning five straight and being, you know, beating two number ones in three weeks um, and setting ourselves up for an SEC championship. I think that's a lot to be proud of. Um, but, you know, like you said, it, we didn't finish it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's still a lot to build off of. Okay, we have time for one or two more. If we have a couple of questions, we'll stay over here on our right. Want, want to ask about Cam Martin? He played some and then then come back. Did he hurt his ankle again? Uh, you know, Cam Martin did a solid job for us. I thought Malik Miller did uh, also. You know, our plan was if KJ couldn't go, that we were going to you know run those two guys and and um, and they had a, we had a plan for him. And after KJ kind of got dinged up, and we could see that he wasn't quite you know, 100%, and that was our plan. Okay, we'll take one final question here in the center aisle. Um, Coach, you guys just played basically a de facto game to get in the playoff. You, Alabama's still in the mix, and with all the new coaching changes, what do you see for the future of this league? Uh, it's the best league in college football, and, uh, I mean, you're talking about, you know, Alabama, Georgia, and, of course, they're not throw us in there. I mean, you know, I, I think it's uh, – it's a really good league. I think the future is very bright in our league. And like I said, I think our future is very bright, and I believe we're going to be back. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're back in this moment next year. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys.